Alrighty then, welcome back to Elsa the Fifth. We got Trace in the studio. We also have Ka. Hey everybody, Superman, what's up for the day? Question of the day, ladies and gentlemen, get ready, get your pens and get your journals and go to the internet because the question of the day, Dr. Raider, is what will you take on the island? Fun stuff. So, what will you take on the island? Well, basically, imagine this. Imagine this, you are kidnapped and you wake up stranded on a deserted island. You will, be, you will only be rescued after 20 years. Uh, the island is hot, sunny for three-fourths of the year and the rest of the time is rainy season and basically there are vicious wild animals too. Now, you have options. There's three categories that you can bring with you, three items that you can bring. So, in column A, option A, between all these things, you can either bring a healthy five-year-old boy. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> For what? <laughs> Why not? What so, a healthy five-year-old boy, a large hunting knife with a compass, that makes sense. a big black dildo, or, <laughs> or $10 million upon leaving the island. I know what I want. Yeah, me too. So, column A, what is it? What are you guys gonna pick? Ladies first. I'm picking the, the large knife and <laughs> compass, for sure. Nope, count there, me in for the 10 million. There's vicious animals out there. I'll throw money bricks at them. Wait, wait, wait the money is after 20, 20 years. After you get off the island. Oh, you don't get it until after the island? Yeah, you have to survive the island, like Tom Hanks. Oh, no, oh, Castaway? Yeah. One of my favorite movies of all time. You have to actually survive before you get to 10 million. Do I get my Helen Hunt? Probably, with 10 million? 10 million. All right. <laughs> Well, I'm personally gonna say, uh, let's, uh... Dildo? No, 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 no. That's what I would think. I'm gonna harbor the, uh, the five-year-old boy. Har For what? For what? Slavery. Yeah. <laughs> Good, man. I'm just gonna put the boy to work. <laughs> hey, he could also be last-minute, uh, ration. But he can also kill you. Five-year-old. I can take him. Have you seen the movie Alive? No, soccer, actually. The soccer team that eats each seen. other? No, I've, I've heard of it. I haven't seen it. But that's also the backup plan. Eh, count me in 10 mil. And actually, hey, the, the five-year-old boy could be the decoy for the wild animal. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> Until he runs faster than you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, if you mobilize, if you read mobilizing people, you won't have a problem with that. Uh -huh. They'll follow you around. Exactly. There it is. So, that's option A. Pick your, take your pick. Now, option B. Kim Kardashian, mind you, fully willing to have sex with you, but develops cancers and died no. after five years. Oh, that's sad. That is sad. That or an eight gig solar powered MP3 player. Nice. That's cool. 500 bottles of any alcoholic drink you of your choice. Blame it on the juice. And last but not least, a handgun with 10 full magazines. I'm ready. Handgun. Kim K, baby. You would. Well, hey, think about it. If you get sick, I'd rush it down anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I have $10 million afterwards, so she thinks I'm good. Yeah. Suck it first, she's dying. So we got a handgun, we got a Kim K. I'm gonna take the solar power MP3 player. Nobody yeah. nobody wants the alcohol? Yeah. None of us drink, huh? Yeah. No. I mean so yeah, I mean survival can be useful, but I mean so can the solar power MP3 player. I guess. We can tinker with the gadget and maybe uh, do some radio signals and find somebody. <laughs> okay, uh, third third item that you get to choose from is column C. 250 books of your choice, but excluding survival and hunting guides. <laughs> Useless. Everything that you would need, of course. No thanks. Uh, five pounds of weed, but it doesn't go bad. However, there are no seeds. Aha. Oh. And then last, a crash plane, which you will repair. You can successfully fly it. If you learn, learn it within your first one to seven years, you will leave five years early. However, if you learn it in your eighth to any year, any years after eight years, you will crash while attempting to leave, wasting a lot of years of work. That does suck. And then last but not least, an eight week old German Shepherd, shepherd puppy. Hmm. I'm taking the puppy. The puppy. The puppy. You know what, I'm gonna take the weed. I've never done drugs, <laughs> I'm never gonna do drugs. <laughs> However, hear me out, I'm gonna take the weed because I'm already having the time of my life with Kim K, and she is gonna die. I might as well give her some weed so she can relax while she's going through her cancer. Cause there ain't no doctors. I'm pretty sure you're gonna die within the first three days of you being stranded on the <laughs> island. Who? You! I'm gonna be with Kim K. 
Yeah, but you'll you'll probably die within the first three days. I'm gonna be with Kim K. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna take the books. Uh, that's uh, firewood. And just for that, Tracy, after I get my 10 million, you can forget <laughs> getting any of it. You're not gonna get it. You're not gonna survive for 20 years. You have no tools. You have Kim Kardashian who doesn't know anything about anything. Hey, you never know. She's a smart businesswoman. Hey, she might, for all we know, she might actually be the survival expert that we don't know about. Exactly. I highly doubt that. <laughs> so, but look at her. Just to recap, <laughs> Superman, your choices were 10 million? Yes, 10 million. I want uh, Kim K and the weed for her when she's dying from cancer. Trace? Mine's the, the knife, the gun, and the. The dog. The German Shepherd. Yes. So she's a sensible survivor. Uh, and then mine is the five-year-old boy, <laughs> the <laughs> solar power MP3 player, and 250 books. So uh, for everybody, definitely comment, like, subscribe on the YouTube, and we're going to have it on the YouTube description box. And let us know what your choices will be. And find it, uh, find it on actually our post for our fan page at facebook.com slash L to the fifth. So you can get it going on. All right, so definitely, guys, we're excited to see what everyone wants to do, and I want to see what's quote unquote sensible. But moving on, move forward. Now we're gonna go over to the 12 most dangerous tourist attractions in the world, and I have to say, this gets me fired up to talk about it. Let's get started. Number 12, Dr. Raider, what is it? It is the Chernobyl Tours. Now, for those of us that don't know what Chernobyl Tours is, it is the site of a nuclear disaster back in 1986 near Pripyat. Ukraine. Yeah. That's right. In Ukraine. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant offers tours for those who are curious about the disaster and want to see the site in person. However, the caution is it is very radioactive and you can uh, mutate. Just so you know. That's kind of scary. I'll do it. I mean, because if you think about it, look, look how Homer Simpson hasn't died. <laughs> He, he works that, on a nuclear that, power plant. That, that's the Springfield, though. Yeah, but Mr. Burns is the last person who has all the security, so you know he has nuclear radiation leak, and he's fine. Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> he also looks like a thousand years old. Yeah, he does. <laughs> a little warped on that head and the nose. Face. He looks like a thousand years old, literally. So, what do we got for number 11? Number 11, Death Road Tour. And you can find the Death Road Tour. It is actually known as one of the most dangerous roads in the world. The 60 kilometer explosion of the highway running between La Paz and Corrico. Bolivia has turned numerous lives. The North Uganda's road is as small as 10 feet across, and the locations is the guardrails to keep you from falling off the edge. <laughs> Literally. If you have the misfortune of going over the ledge, your vehicle will come to rest after falling more than here it is. 2,000 feet from the bottom of the canyon. That looks really scary. It looks extremely scary, but I have one thing to say. Let's go. And you're gonna be on this big, big, gigantic bus? Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> 2,000 feet is no joke. That is not a joke at <laughs> That's all. That's no joke. That's freaking scary. It looks cool though. Number 10, bungee jumping into an active volcano. Sick! world would want to do that go to youtube.com guys and put in bungee jumping from a volcano and you can see people have already done it and i have to say i never heard of such a thing count me in a hundred percent before i'm 40 years old absolutely something i must do before i die that is absolutely awesome to build experience it, that it costs ten thousand dollars to bungee from a helicopter in the mouth of chile yes that's crazy yes that's just nuts who comes up with this stuff i, I love know. it all right, next up, number nine, swimming in shark-infested waters, however, without a cage. Oh, jeez. Swimming without a cage. I mean, there's various places that you can do it around the world. One such place is the new Simura Beach in Florida. Oh, wow. That's closer than I expected. Yeah. Well, they, it's only an hour northwest of Orlando. And they do make sure that these obviously are not killer white sharks, obviously, but that, to do that is scary. Uh, no, that's, uh, actually, they are great white sharks. Really? Those are great white sharks. So if you smell blood, <laughs> if you smell blood. <laughs> what the? Right. I, I mean, I've always wanted to do the cage one in like Africa or something with great white, but that's scary. That is scary. But I'm down. But you're gonna do it. No cage. No cage. No cage. It is. No Nick Cage. No. 
Number eight. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Number eight. Volcano helicopter tours. That would up the again. These are things that you, YouTube is cool because it's been able to show the world of what we can do. But you gotta visualize that stuff, man. Because I mean, how do you like? I don't know how you guys are. But when I watch National Geographic or the History Channel and you see like the molten lava, that looks awesome. Hey, just to let you know how uh, extreme this helicopter ride is, there's been 30 people who have died from it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Since 1995. They fell in or too hot or what? Helicopter crashes mm. during the tours. Wow. <laughs> so that's including the pilot. Wow. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> so now the question, make that, just make sure uh, you pick the right pilot. Yes, I want to ask him one question. How many times have you done this tour? And First the time. answer is one? <laughs> I'm not going with you. <laughs> Number seven, climbing Mount Blanc on the French slash Italian border. That's cool. That is cool. It's going to be 4,877 meters. Jeez. With the winds gust reaching 95 kilometers near the top. Who has a brain? How fast is that in NPM? Or uh, mile, miles per hour? NPM. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so you have more mobile fuel market, that's all I care about. <laughs> Do you even know how fast that is in I don't know, that, but that sounds... That's like 75 miles an hour, I think. That's Jeez. a strong wind. And 50 people has died from it. Of Count course. me in. Of course. Since 2011. Or 8. Count me in. So, the next one. Number 6. Swimming with the jellyfish naked. What Why? the freak, dude? Why? Aren't you going to get stung to death? What was that movie with uh, Will Smith? Seven pounds. Yeah. So, yeah, jellyfish. So, uh, here's a... Yeah. I mean, it's not even, jellyfish is actually the uh, greater predator than snakes, sharks, even crocodiles in Australia. And we're supposed to just swim with them? That's right. Jeez. How do you not get shocked? How do you not die? It's painful. Well, that's why they say there's more people that's been dead from jellyfish things than anything else. She's so close to them. And mind you, it's a box jellyfish. Well, wait, box jellyfish seems harmless, but it does kill people. Wow. And it's killed more than all Australian animals combined? Mm. Wow. All right, guys, so number five, cliff jumping at Bash Bish Falls, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, Tracy, you've gone cliff diving before. I have. And tell us. It's scary. That, that 10 <laughs> seconds seems like 30, you said, Yes, right? it's uh, literally in slow motion, and you can see all the rocks underneath you, and when you jump, you literally think you're going to hit the rock. It's always right before you jump in the back of your mind, you're always thinking, did I jump far enough to miss Yes, the exactly. And that's why that 10 seconds fall literally felt like like five minutes. And it, I, it, and that G-force that you get from falling into the water, it's the most intense I've ever felt, even more so than skydiving. Oof, wow. And yeah. the Bash Bish Falls, for those of us wondering, in Massachusetts um, are very beautiful and it's a great place to take pictures. But the... Falls harbors some hidden dangers. The fall looks great, but the edges of the cliffs have combined, have claimed many lives with crumbling ledges as well as pools that are shallow than more shallow than expected. That's nuts. That's crazy that people just jump in there not even checking how yeah, that's deep nuts. it is and especially look at all the rock formations. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely nuts. Number four, climbing Mount Cook in New Zealand. I'm sure everybody's wanting to do that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I'm down. I'm totally down. All right, number three, beautiful and deadly destinations. What does that mean? It's a good question. <laughs> well, it all says it's a tsunami hazard zone. So this place is the island of Vanuatu. I love the Vanuatu. <laughs> Vanuatu is off of South. It's a fantastic South Pacific beach. It experiences tsunamis from earthquakes and cyclones. On an active basis, and it's on on active volcanoes. So yeah. you're on a volcano that's known for tsunamis, and it's also known for earthquakes. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> it's the island that everything happens on. I, I love it. All right, number two, Tabagan on an active volcano. All these things have a lot of volcanoes, they but they really like volcanoes. Volcanoes are scary. They are. Because if you get any molten lava, lava on you, you're actually dead, or yeah. that part of you is gone. Yeah. So, so that makes sense. Tabagan. Uh, down the outsides of Cerro Volcano in Nair, Nicaragua. 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 The volcano erupted in 1999, but the toboggan guy swears uh, he will know if it is about to erupt. So you basically have to go off of what this guy's saying. Oh, <laughs> basically. <laughs> the toboggan. Guys, just trust me. It's not going to erupt right now. Just trust me. 
two seconds later. Oh crap, he was wrong. Uh, too late. Too yeah, late. because obviously you will have to still deal with gravel burning while you travel at 68 kilometers an hour over the rocky terrain. Wow, so that's like 40 miles an hour then, right? Something like that. Yeah. Fast enough. Yeah. That's fine. And number one, Miss Tracy Wong. Walk the plank at Mount Hush. Hyushan, China. You're Chinese. <laughs> Say it right. Hyushan. <laughs> <laughs> it is um, in China, thousands of feet in the air, and you literally walk over a 12-inch wooden plank that's tied into the face of the cliffs, and it's literally a sheer drop. And it doesn't say how high it is, but I've seen YouTube videos on this, and this is insane. Mind you, there is no handrails. The only thing that's going to be keeping you on that side of the mountain is a safety harness. That so, doesn't look that safe. On a serious note, <laughs> go to YouTube and put in Mount China, and it, it literally is insane. It is absolutely something got to do before 35 years old. Actually, I take that back earlier. I said 40. Before, you got to do these things before 35, because once you start going after 35, you're a little too old. And Yeah, that yeah. Makes sense. So we got to do these things before 35. So we want to hear from everybody out of the top 12. What is the one that you must do? We have Trace in the studio. We also have Ka. And thank you for listening in. And until the next episode of L to the Fifth, we appreciate everybody. Uh, answer all the questions uh, following from below. If you guys do that, we're going to put you in a drawing for five free tickets for The Dark Knight Rises. And until the next episode, we will talk to everybody soon. Bye.